Finally tonight, another in our occasional series on poets and poetry. Tonight, Chicago-based poet Ling Young Lee. His latest book, Behind My Eyes, was published in January. Descended from dreamers, why are you crying? My father asked in my dream, in which we faced each other, knees touching, seated in a moving train. I'm Lee Young Lee. Uh, I was born in Indonesia. I'm ethnic Chinese. I came to this country about 64. I was born in 57. My mother was the oldest granddaughter of the fifth wife of the first president of the Republic of China. When I was born, my, uh, my father was working in Indonesia, teaching, and about a month after I was born, he was incarcerated, and he spent about 19 months in a, in a leper colony. After he got out, we were traveling under house arrest between Jakarta and Malaysia. We uh, jumped ship and ended up in Hong Kong, and eventually we ended up in the United States as uh, political refugees. This is called Self-Help for Fellow Refugees. If your name suggests a country where bells might have been used for entertainment or to announce the entrances and exits of the seasons or the birthdays of gods and demons, it's probably best to dress in plain clothes when you arrive in the United States and try not to talk too loud. If you happen to have watched armed men beat and drag your father out the front door of your house and into the back of an idling truck before your mother jerked you from the threshold and buried your face in her skirt folds, try not to judge your mother too harshly. Don't ask her what she thought she was doing, turning a child's eyes away from history. Or maybe there was too much screaming and weeping and the noise of guns in the streets. It doesn't matter. What matters is this. The kingdom of heaven is good, but heaven on earth is better. Thinking is good, but living is better. Alone in your favorite chair with a book you enjoy is fine, but spooning is even better. I live in uptown Chicago. Well, my wife isn't literary at all. She's kind of suspicious of people who are overread. She has a real good ear for something that's kind of tinny. And she comes from a long line of uh, coal miners, and uh, uh, her father was a coal miner, her uh, grandfather was a coal miner. They want proof of things. This is called living with her. She opens her eyes, and I see. She counts the birds, and I hear the names of the months and days. A girl, one of her names is change and my childhood lasted all of an evening. Called light, she breathes my living share of every moment emerging. Called life, she is a pomegranate, pecked clean by birds to entirely become a part of their flying. Do you love me? She asks, I love you, she answers, and the world keeps beginning. <laughs>